Boston College wins a stellar day for one Lewis Bond, 102 yards, one touchdown, the biggest touchdown of the day. Second career game with over 100 yards and a receiving touchdown, and that's why he is now on set with us. So welcome to the ACC huddle, Mr. Bond. Uh, I wanted you to take us inside the locker room because we saw some video of you guys celebrating just before you came on. What was it like in there after this win? It's always a great uh, time in the locker room after the wins. We get to dance and jersey, uh, jersey music, all that. So it'd be a good time in there. But what about when the fans stormed the field, though? Even before you got into the locker room, it was a celebration. Man, they tried. They, I ain't got nothing on no more. They took everything off of me. <laughs> yeah, they took everything off me. Gloves, towels. Hey, look, plays like that don't just happen. The touchdown pass you had at the end. Can you describe the relationship between you and Thomas and how that trust has grown? It, it really grew over the offseason. So when he got here last year, we didn't really know each other. So it was chemistry building during the season. Now we had a full offseason. He just trusts me. One-on-one -on -one coverage, he's going to throw it to me, and I'm going to make that play for him every time. I love that, man. We were sitting right here in this end zone watching you go in for the go-ahead for the game-winning score. And I look at this angle right here because you're kind of looking at him. You're kind of talking. What was that like? What was going through your head as that's happening? Oh, I'm going to get chewed out for that tomorrow. I should have scored uh, faster. But um, I was just in the moment, so I just did some things that I probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> it's all good. When you're about to win, you can do that, Lewis. But, uh, what was the conversation like after last week? Because I felt like we all said here on this desk that you guys had a great game, not necessarily a moral victory, but something to be positive about moving forward into this week. Yeah, we don't, we don't really do moral victories here, but it was a, it was something we could learn from. It was, a, it was a lot of stuff that we left on the table Missouri week, and we knew that. And we kind of uh, came in here lackadaisical, I would say. We didn't start as fast as we should have. So that's something we still got to work on. But uh, it was good at uh, – coming back from adversity in the second half. Speaking of that, at halftime, what was going on? Were the, were the players voicing their opinions or did the coach do all the talking or how'd, how'd halftime go? Uh, we usually stay calm. We know we know what we could do. We, we just talk about adjustments. There's no uh, big thing about in halftime. About, it's just fixing what we messed up right. and going back to what worked. Back to business. Yeah. Good. Looking at the buy-in for Coach Bill O'Brien, because uh, as a receiver, you want to come in. You had a great year last year. I feel like you have to be a little bit unselfish to play in this offense because you're not always going to get opportunities. How has your role kind of changed in this offense compared to last year? Um, I feel like it's the same. Just make the plays. Op when the opportunities come, make the plays. Mm. That was last year. It was this year. The ball coming, you got to make the play. Like I'm still pretty mad about the drop I had earlier. So it's <laughs> it's always things you can fix. It's like you can complain about not getting the ball, but you get the ball, you got to make opportunities. You, you got 102 yards. If you'd have got 999, would it have felt not as much fun? Oh man, I had 98 against Duquesne. I mean 98. Yeah, 98 <laughs> so against Duquesne. It does make a difference. Yeah, it's a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> After the fact, if it's a win. How big That's of right. a deal is it not only to get the win, but also tonight on the Red Band? Dana game for you guys. Oh, this game means more to everybody. It was a packed out stadium. It, it just means a lot because everybody, Boston College, our motto is men and women for others. So we take that like wow. big. So everybody was here. Everybody bought into that. It's a tradition that everybody buys into every year. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Let's talk about your quarterback a little bit more. And you <clears> talked <throat> about the relationship you guys have. We've all sat on this desk and kind of talked about what we think he's gotten better at with Coach. You know, Bill O'Brien coming in, where have you seen the most improvement from him? In the passing game, trusting his eyes, trusting his feet, and just taking what the defense gives him. I feel like <clears throat> sometimes he – last year he got to doing too much. This year he just trusts what the defense gives him and, and accepting that, not trying to always hunt the deep ball, hunt the big play. Yeah. How did you decide on gloves, no gloves? Uh, I'm a guy that always like to wear gloves. No I trust, matter what. I trust my hands, but I like to wear gloves. It's, it's for the look. I can't go out there with no gloves. <laughs> the swag, right? the swag yeah, I got to have a little swag. I want you to brag on your DBs, too, because you had a couple of interceptions by yeah. your defense. Gave you guys extra opportunities. So I'm sure some of that back and forth, the one-on-ones we were here back in the summer, yeah. probably helped both of you guys on yeah. both sides of the ball. Our DBs are great. Uh, Amari, Karee, Max. We got a lot of DBs that could play. So it's it's just the same thing as a receiver. When the opportunity the ball come your way, you got to make the play. So they did a good job of making a play this year. I mean, this week. And they had more opportunities. Amari dropped one. Yep. So, it, yeah, we got good guys on <laughs> Who's counting? As far as, as far as coming to BC, why why did you choose Boston College? Because uh, of games like this. Uh, I came here because I know we could play in big games and win big games. And it, it starts with games like this, continuing to win. Uh, and, yeah. Academics, too. Tommy said that. But. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. What are you majored in? I'm a marketing major. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm graduating in December. 
Oh, uh, December. December. Yeah. Congrats, bro. Congrats. Before Appreciate we you. send you off, we asked Thomas Castellanos this after you guys picked up the win over Florida State down in Tallahassee. What, what's your night look like now? Oh. Uh, it's a Saturday. There's no class tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna celebrate tonight and then get back to business. Western Kentucky next week. That's what there we, we go. That's the plans. <laughs> yeah. All right. Appreciate you, Lewis. Congratulations on Thank a great you. game and a great win here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. It's time for the head.